She's so beautiful. I love her Isn't anyway. Isn't she gorgeous? Yeah. <laughs> I met you went to the NAPTI convention. You were down there selling something in uh, New Orleans, or either Houston or one of those two places. TV, you know, TV convention. Uh huh. Okay, you ready? You ready? <clears throat> All right, Mr. Kennedy. Here's a tough one for you right off the bat. Describe your career. Um, Compare it to a it's road. It's a rocky road. It, it was a rocky uh, road with uh, lots of side twists. I was born into show business. My mother and father were both in show business. I, I spent a little boy's uh, childhood because when my father died when I was four years old, that ended the show business at that stage. World War II came along when I, December 7th, I was just 15 years old, so the war took me in in that direction. When the war was over, I got, luckily enough, with the Armed Forces Radio and Television mm -hmm. Service, which was a learning process. After that, I became the technical advisor and worked with the Bilko show, the old Phil mm -hmm. Silver show, show, which was another learning process, and, and then the best of company. So it's been kind of a road that, you know, the, here's A and here's Z, and the road went this way rather than this way. So when you were walking through an airport, you know, in the past number of years, not so much in the recent time, what did people know you for? The airport films basically overall, or was it Cohen and Luke, or yes. what? The, there's, there's two or three or four things that people like to talk about mostly. Paul Newman, how many eggs did he eat? <laughs> the Petroni, did you enjoy all of the airport movies? The Blue Knight, are you fond of yeah, that the, was good. The, the character you played in that? And, and more recently, the Naked Gun things, they like the inept uh, Captain Hawkman as much as I do. No, no, no. Nobody likes him as much as I do. Yeah, uh, you know, L he's not as dumb, as stupid as uh, as uh, Leslie's character, but he told me now, Leslie Nielsen says, I am Frank Drebin. I have always been Frank Drebin, and it just took this to finally figure it out. Yeah. I don't think you're Captain Hawkman. <laughs> no, uh, um, but I love being mm -hmm. Captain Hawkman. He is, um, uh, he is not quite as inept as Leslie is in the thing. Um, but he's... Uh, Pretty inept. But what did Hollywood mostly want you for when you're, what your casting, your agent and manager say? We want George Kennedy for what purpose? Because you're a big guy and we're tough? Yeah, bigness Man's has man. not necessarily been an asset for me. Um, I came to Hollywood at a time when um, Jim Arness was, and Clint Walker and John Wayne and what have you. These are big guys and they needed somebody to punch the lights out. Well, I got my lights punched out a lot. But it paid a lot of bills, and it gave me a reputation as at least being a guy that you could count on, knew his lines, never made any trouble, physical if you needed it, and what have you. And as the parts got bigger, like in charade or what have you, um, uh, they counted on you even more. When you get to share a picture with a superstar, as I did with Paul Newman, that changes everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it must have been very... Because they wanted you as a heavy earlier, and they rolled you over to some kind of more of a... Good guy. Well, the big guy thing is awkward. You, you see a guy my size, you do not think of, of somebody as who reads and likes poetry, which I happen mm -hmm. to do. You don't think of it. You think of him walking through the wall, mm -hmm. or you think of <laughs> pushing him through the wall. Yeah. That's, that's, mm -hmm. It's normal, and you accept that. But it is only after a number of years of being pushed through walls or being knocked down that people say maybe he can do something else. Mm -hmm. Let's give him a shot at this. And those are those are neat days. That's what happened to Leslie. He'd been a stalwart performer for many, many years, and here all of a sudden he becomes an icon as Frank Drebin. That's great, though. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. The, the Petroni character, I mean, those airplane movies kind of wore themselves out, but I guess they there still paid the bills. There was a fifth one scheduled. The, the, the idea works. You get a bunch of people you don't know. You, here's a nun. Here's a little girl with a heart problem. Here's a whatever. Mm -hmm. and you put them in a thing, and you learn a little bit about them, and then you put them in jeopardy. Uh -huh. How do you get them out? It can be on an airliner. It can be in a spaceship. Yeah. It could be on a boat. Leslie Nielsen, by the way, was the captain of the Poseidon. That's right. Oh, that's right. Did you remember? Good trivia question. It is somebody. a good trivia question. He was that authority figure again, though. Yeah. Well, nice seeing you. I really like your work.